Jeffrey, of all the places you've been, people you've met, and experiences you've had, somehow you ended up right here in this moment with me. It's almost like there was an invisible string tying you to me, pulling us through two very different lives, shaping us to be exactly who we needed to be for each other. From the moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And for the past four years, you've done nothing but reassure me that I was right. You have filled my life with joy and so much laughter. You have given me a sense of purpose and an overwhelming peace I didn't know my heart was missing. You have supported me and loved me even when I made it very difficult to do so. And most profoundly, you have believed in me in times when I didn't believe in myself. You are my best friend, my biggest cheerleader, the best karaoke partner I or anyone really could ask for. I vow to not take our time together for granted. And because no matter what I say here today, words can't even begin to express how I feel about you. So I promise to show you for the rest of my life how in love with you I am. We walk down the aisle to Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. In so many ways, this is truly my wildest dream come true. To be here in this beautiful setting, marrying you, surrounded by all of our favorite people. I've always dreamt about my wedding day. At some point, not sure if it was in the cards for me. To be here now is surreal. From the very moment we met eyes on the corner of 56th and 9th Avenue, I knew you were the one. There was never a doubt in my mind it wasn't you. You stole my heart from day one and remain the king of my heart to this day. I'll never forget this one moment I had with my mom. We were still early on in our relationship, but she said to me, if I had to pick someone for you, it would be exactly who Taylor is. And I couldn't agree more. I was at the bar and someone came up to me and said, I think Jeffrey might be gay. So I said, well, he always was a happy kid. Then they said, no, no, I, I mean, I think he plays for the other team. So I said, look, when he was growing up, I never made him play for just one team. Now I think he's on the dream team. At the time, was newly single, so I was neither of those things. I stumbled into mine and Jeff's apartment in the middle of the night to find them chatting on the couch. I woke up the next day with a splitting headache and told Jeff that I had a dream that there was a Greek god in our living room. Taylor said, I met the most amazing guy. He's an actor, a singer, a chef, and he's gorgeous. I thought it was simply too good to be true, but then I met him. And not only is Jeff all of those things, he is also incredibly kind, hilarious, and genuine to his core. And yes, I think he's absolutely gorgeous too. I feel fairly confident in saying most of us were raised being told love meant a certain thing, that it looked a certain way. A husband, a wife, a diamond ring, 
and you both grew up thinking you wanted that cookie cutter. But at some point, you stopped and you listened to your heart. You chose to announce to the world that you weren't willing to settle. Because of that, tonight's ceremony was the purest form of love and bravery and commitment there is. teach me and challenge me to be the best version of myself and have opened my eyes, mind, and heart to see life in a whole new way. In return, I offer you these promises. I promise to dream with you, to encourage you to always pursue and nurture your dreams and do what makes you happy. I promise to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but strive to remind myself of the ways we are perfect for each other. I promise to share in your joys and sorrows and everything God has planned for us. I promise to not be annoyed when we decide to split something and then you eat way more than your half. And I promise I will regret promising this. I promise to always encourage you to follow your dreams. I promise to talk to you before getting another dog. <laughs> I promise to stop and make you laugh when you're taking life too seriously. I promise to protect you in all ways, big and small. I promise to be a light in the darkness and to hold you when you wake up from a bad dream. I promise you that laughter will always be commonplace in our house. I promise you in 40 years, every night will still feel like a sleepover with my best friend as it does now. I promise that we will be forever young at heart and I will always see you with the same eyes and same heart as I do in this moment now. Our relationship will have its ups and downs, but I promise to grow with you and I know we will always come out stronger. And I promise that when we are old and gray, we will hold hands just like we are now and we will tell our grandchildren of the most beautiful life we created together. From this day forward, it's me and you, forever, I love you.